Now we're moving to the installation of the asterisk 16 in the lab one. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the virtual machine and in the virtual machine, I will use a sudo su to, to get in the root. And here, if config, we are in the 192.168.068. Let me use buddy, buddy 192.168.068. Sorry. Okay. But one nine two one six eight zero sixty eight. Yes. Test. Training asterisk. Training asterisk. Okay. Sudo su. Test. Perfect. Now let me increase the size and change the settings. Let me use in terms of appearance, appearance uh, like Lucida, console 16. This will be much easier for you to see. Perfect. Now let's move back to the lab and let's copy. So the first step is to install Ubuntu. This is what you have on the in the other video. Now let's, oh, now let's install the dependencies. So let me do an apt-get update and all the other apt-gets. Done. This will take a while, so I'll interrupt the video for now. Okay, back. Uh, we have installed all dependencies. Now let's move to the next step and let's install the source code. So it's usually better to to copy in this way from oh something asterisk let me cancel here okay so in the USR SRC we are downloading the asterisk system current it will take a while so I'll interrupt again well back after the download let the uncompress and then we go to this line cd asterisk and these two lines I'll do separately. It's important to to see the output of the dot configure. Asterisk 16.2.0. It's funny it didn't allow me the cd asterisk Too many arguments. Funny. Yeah. No problem. Let me go to the 16.2.0. LS. Let's configure the compilation. Okay, so now ready. Uh, it's configured, perfect. No problem at all. So let's do this line here. As usual, having problems to copy. Control C, Control V. Okay, make. And it will start to compile. It will take a while, so I'll interrupt again. Back to the video. We have finished the compilation. So let's see the next steps. So we have samples created. Let's see if asterisk works, if it can start and stop, and if it can start in background. So, okay. Asterisk dash v v v v v v v more verbose g to dump core c C to them core and G. I don't remember anymore. Sorry. The G is to dump core, right? And C to provide a console. Okay. Sorry. Asterisk. 
Super Splash. V for verbose, G to dump core, and C, dump core if you have a problem. Okay, started. Asterisks ready. Uh, now we have the console directly. If we do something like quit, uh, we cannot quit because we are running on on the uh, on the forehead. So there's two ways to run asterisk. We are running in foreground, and let me do a core stop now to stop the server. And now let's do simply asterisk. We don't see anything, but if you use asterisk dash r as the asterisk remote, we are going to connect to asterisk. Now we are connected to the asterisk running on background. So now we can quit. The, the process is still there, right? It's still running. Uh, so everything is fine. We can just connect and disconnect. Sorry, quit. You can also go to asterisk. And if you want to stop, you can, you can stop, of course, stop now. Right, so now we can see that the process is not there anymore. Right, so you can run asterisk in foreground or in background. If you use C, you're going to run on foreground. If you don't use C, you're going to run on background. That's the whole idea. Another thing is if you do a make config, you can use also service start asterisk. Oh, sorry, service asterisk start and service let me see if the process is is in memory it's there right and service stop asterisk no oh sorry service asterisk stop Okay, now we can see that we don't have the server running. So service asterisk start and everything is set on the installation. Thank you.